In the 1800s, jaguar could be found from California all the way to the Carolinas, but hunting wiped them out in the United States. But recently, a pair of males have been spotted in the Cuenaca Los Ojos region of Sonora, Mexico. I had a chance to talk to the field biologist about what this means for the return of jaguar. The jaguars that we saw in the borderland, uh, Valeria and Bonito, were also males. But the good news about them is that they're, they are young. Ganesh Marin is a biologist working on his PhD from the University of Arizona. The focus is animal movement along the Arizona-Sonora-Mexico border in the Cajon Bonita watershed. We found an astonishing uh, amount of diversity. And when I am saying that, I am, I am calling you about pumas, blackbirds, beavers, ocelot, and, and lately we discovered that there is the jaguar. And this is pretty incredible. The first jaguar showed up in March 2021 in Cuanca Los Ojos, a protected area. Located in Sonora, Mexico, it's a sky island in the Sierra Madre, which allows the jaguars to traverse the mountain range and avoid the heat of the desert. When you have young individuals like these ones that we report, it means that the mom is not really far. So this is, this is good. For jaguars, males tend to disperse, uh, and females do it in a more slowly way. But by seeing these two individuals and the mom is not being that far, this, this means that Jaguars could eventually be, female jaguars could be uh, eventually soon in the United States. Besides hunting, loss of habitat was a huge part of why jaguars were lost in the United States. And they're now um, considered to be a near threatened species because there's been a loss of probably 20 to 40 percent of their range. John Koprowski is a professor at the University of Wyoming and Ganesh Marin's PhD advisor. He says the sky islands in the Sierra Madre Mountains are what makes it possible for the jaguars to move north. But this kind of wonderful tapestry, this, this uh, mosaic of uh, diverse habitats uh, that are connected uh, by proximity, really. Uh, the ability to make a move between an island, jump across uh, you know, a, a, maybe an inhospitable desert environment to get to a more lush, montane mountain environment. And with this pair of male jaguars, Benito and Valerio making it so far north, they're sending a message. They essentially tell us that there's some connectivity available and that there's suitable habitat. So by keeping these corridors open and preserving areas like Cuanca Los Ojos, this will support the jaguars return to the United States. We need to have connected all these montanos areas and all the big washes the big canyons. Uh, and between Mexico and the United States, they're still open. With these two males establishing territory this far north, a female is likely to follow. The hope is a female won't be too far behind, about another five years. But as long as this area is protected and maintained, it looks like it could happen. Sean Stiles, Earth 8.